When adjusting the layout of your text in InDesign, there is a much easier way to split your content into columns or to span your paragraph over multiple columns. This is a way more dynamic and fluid way to work than threading different text frames together. And you can also create different columns within columns, which I will show you later in this tutorial. In InDesign, there are a couple ways you can turn this fat body of text into multiple columns. And the first way is to make sure you're in the advanced workspace and then select your text frame. And at the top, you'll see a setting called number of columns. As you see, it's set to one, so let's change that to two. And of course you can change that to three or four or however many you want, but I'll go back to one for now. And you can also adjust the column settings by either right clicking on your column and selecting text frame options, or you can also go up to object and select text frame options. And here you can increase the column number or your gutter size or your uh, spacing, kind of like your padding and margin. So I'll just hit okay. And let's say I want this first paragraph and this first heading to span across both of my columns. You can easily do that by selecting your paragraphs and then going over to this flyout menu and selecting span columns. You can also find this setting up in the control panel here. As you see here are the span and split options, but you do have more options in the actual menu. So I'll select span columns and then you want to select span columns from the drop down menu. So just like that, we have our text spanning across both of our columns. You can also do this within the center of your text frame. So for example, let's select this text and this time go up to the control panel and select span all. And now finally, let's say I want this text to span across multiple columns within this single column. You can do that by highlighting that text and then going up to span columns once again. And as you see, this is a single column except for these different zones that are your span columns. And this time I want to select split column and then hit okay. And now in order for us to see the effect, we can either drag up our text frame to something like that. So the text shoots over to the next column. Or if you have text on the right side, you don't want to mess up. You can also just select the text you want to shoot over to the next column and then hit enter on your keyboard. And just like that, we have spanned and split our columns of text in InDesign. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making helpful content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.